Hi, you're watching Alexa. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be like a mid-year evaluation of all the money I have spent throughout 2023 up until this point. I take a moment every month to sit down and copy paste the transactions that happen in my checking account and in my credit card and put them in an Excel sheet. I create columns with date, Description is basically just the place that I spent the money, importance, category, and I put the amount that I've taken the five months and did a pivot table with that to see where my money is going. Now, if you don't know this already, I used to do no buy content here on YouTube because I was in debt. Everything has been paid off since November, 2022, but my shopping habits have definitely changed since finishing my debt repayment and now I'm more focused on saving but also kind of living again I can do that like I can go on vacation and not worry that there's not going to be anything in my pocket after I went ahead and filled in all those categories and we're going to talk about my five highest spending categories my most expensive expenditure was my vacation which cost me 2300 it was a bit expensive. I didn't even realize how badly I needed it. I was dealing with a lot of stress and just, I absolutely needed to get away and relax. The next largest expense, grocery shopping, which I consider an essential expense, of course, 1,821. Food has gotten expensive. I think I could make some tweaks with what I buy sometimes, but for the most part, we don't really throw a lot of food away, which is a great thing. And I try to focus on getting fresh produce. Eating out has definitely increased for me. Uh, so in the last five months, I spent $1,233. That evens out to about $246 a month. So I'll eat out several times and the prices tend to vary each time that I go and eat So there are months where I don't eat out at all And then there might be a meal that is a little bit more expensive at a separate time So that is something to consider Otherwise, I consider going to A&W and grabbing a burger for $8 to be eating out And that's not expensive And sometimes that saves me from a grocery trip and cooking late The next category we have is clothes I can't believe it. I spent $799. I do have a bit of a prerogative here. I am trying to get rid of some older clothing that I feel like don't feel like my clothes. They're things that I bought in the 2010s that are just not my style anymore. They don't fit me anymore. I'm about 30 pounds difference than I was in that era of my life. And I do need to invest in kind of more adult looking clothing that I I feel comfortable wearing whether I'm hanging out at home or whether I have to go into the office or have to go out on the weekends so that is something that I'm looking out for but I don't really want to spend I think more than 1200 in the year for clothes and I actually have some decluttering to do to just kind of finesse my wardrobe my fifth highest expense is my internet bill is $639. That also includes mine and mom's cell phone bill as well. So internet and both of our cell phones, there's not that that much that I can do about that. I think we have the cheapest plans for our cell phones and our internet is pretty basic. So we just get ripped off in Canada. I hear that in other countries, it's so much cheaper, but they have like a monopoly over us. And several of the providers are owned by the same institutions like Bell and Videotron. So that's just something you can't really escape a close second place for the fifth spot that's for mom's medication so medication was about 605 dollars for the last five months and it's pretty on par with last year so really places where i can work on my expenditures obviously trip next year i have an expensive trip coming up as well i'm gonna do it man like i need some escapism i need a little bit of something to look forward to really where i'm looking at cutting expenses a little bit is eating out and clothes those are the big ones for me 
The grand total of my expenses for the last five months has been $9,643.72. For my earnings, and this is counting any provincial or federal tax return, money, Google, my payroll and cash back on my credit card. This is why I pay for a lot of things on my credit card and then pay off the balance at the end of the month because I get one, one to three percent cash back depending on what it is. I have a total of $14,041 in earnings for the last five months and this is after tax, mind you, right? Like we're not talking gross, we're talking net which leaves me a balance of $4,397 in savings for the last five months. Not fantastic, but not horrible either. I would like to see a decrease in the amount of money I spend in both clothes and eating out. Eating at home whenever I can or preparing something to eat in advance, um, knowing that I'm gonna come home tired and be able to eat leftovers. I think that's the main, main, main thing. When I go to the mall, I'm not particularly compelled to buy a lot of clothing, but I was going on vacation and then I did buy some sales items at Dynamite. They were winter clothes that I bought in the end of spring because they were on super liquidation. So I was like, yeah. If you guys wanna hear the story about how I got out of debt, definitely click on the screen and check that out because if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoyed that video. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.